Hey, it's Dawn from Happy Home and Garden with John and Dawn, and today is part two of a series of experiments with prebiotic fibers for making Lactobacillus ruteri yogurt. So in the last video, I tested arrowroot powder, chicory root inulin powder, and psyllium husk powder. And if you haven't seen that video, the psyllium husk was absolutely nasty, and you should really see my reaction to it because it was pretty funny. Oh, it tastes like barf. Ugh. Yikes. That is nasty. So in this video, we're going to use Microingredients Organic Chicory Root Inulin Powder. Now, I also used this in the previous one, and I will be using this in the future ones, because a lot of people are used to using this. It's on a lot of the recipes. It also tastes pretty good. It also gives us a base to compare between all of the different videos. The second one is Bob's Red Mill Potato Starch. And the third is the Great Value Brand Coconut Flour Organic, which I got at Walmart. If you'd like to learn more about the Lactobacillus ruteri, I definitely suggest this book called Super Gut by Dr. William Davis. A lot of information in this book and there's also a lot of YouTube videos that you can check out. So in case you haven't seen the very first video with the first experiment, I'm inserting some video on the probiotics and the half and half milk here. So for the very first batch that I had made, I used four different products that gave me five different strains of Lactobacillus ruteri. So these are the five strains that I could find information from on Amazon. It was based on things I could find in the review or the descriptions or the bottles themselves. I actually wanted a little bit more variety, so that's why I chose these four. Now this one here is the BioGaia gastris. This is what you normally see in the recipes. And this is the ProDentist for gums and teeth. There's an extra strain in this one that is not in this one. This is the Super Smart Lactobacillus ruteri. It's super, thanks for asking. <laughs> and then this is the Vitamatic L. ruteri complex, which also has Lactobacillus rominosus, if I'm pronouncing that right and Lactobacillus acidophilus in it, which is normally what you'll find in regular yogurts. This is what I used for the very first batch. I crushed up the tablets and emptied the capsules into the milk. If you're looking for any of these products, you can check the description below. And the milk I'm using is Simply Nature Organic Half and Half, which can be purchased at Aldi. Now on here, it does not say what type of pasteurization it is, but I did confirm with the manager that it is ultra pasteurized. Welcome to the prebiotic fiber experiment number two. This is actually kind of exciting doing these experiments. It's kind of fun. So these three jars here, I'm labeling as four, five, and six because in the previous video, I had them labeled one, two, and three. So jar number four has the micro ingredients, chicory root inulin powder. Jar number five has the potato starch from Bob's Red Mill. I was going to buy organic, but honestly, I went on Amazon and looked at the pricing and I'm just like, nah, you know what? I'm just going to go to the store, buy Bob's Red Mill because that's a pretty good brand. It's not organic, but hey, you know, for the experiment, I figured I'd try it out. Now it does say unmodified. And I think that means it's because it's just potato starch. There's nothing else that's done to it or added to it. Now in jar number six, we have organic coconut flour. Now this I actually gotten at Walmart. It was a big bag. I usually have coconut flour on hand for my keto bread recipes. So I learned that it was a prebiotic fiber and thought I would try it. And I did put in three tablespoons of the yogurt from the last batch, from the last video. This is actually the version that had the arrowroot powder in it. I was going to use the one from the number two jar, which was the chicory root inulin powder, but I ate it because it's so good. Yum. So one thing that I did want to note about the arrowroot powder version from the last video, the arrowroot powder seems to have made this sort of thick substance at the bottom of the jar, like thick Play-Doh. So this was the whole amount that was at the bottom of the jar, kind of gooey. I try it. Hmm. It's like, no, no. <laughs> I think it's going to shut my mouth together. I suppose John wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I talk a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's all... Uh, meh, meh, no. No. I'm, I'm going to compost it. Meh, no, no, no. And in this fourth little jar here, this is just what's remaining of these three jars because you can't fit a full 32-inch half-and-half container in those, so that just has the three of those mixed together. Now, I did heat up the half-and-half half prior to putting in the starter from the previous yogurt batch because I didn't want to kill any of the bacteria. The final temperature going right into the machine, these range anywhere from 87 degrees to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And the water in the bottom of the instant pot, this here is just right to above the trivet. And this water is right around 82 degrees, 81 degrees, somewhere in there. So as explained in the prior video, this is an IP Duo 80. It's an eight quart machine. It does have a yogurt setting and there's no temperature control. I've got the four jars in here. 
This one again is the inulin powder, this one here is the potato starch, and this is the coconut flour, and this is the small one that has the mixture of the three in it. And just to recap, this also does not have the ring in it. Uh, putting the lid on, keeping it in the closed vent position, putting it on yogurt on normal setting, and see you in 36 hours. Okay, 36 hours is almost up. Let's take the cover off and see what we got. So the inulin powder, that looks good. Potato starch, that looks good. And coconut flour, oh, that looks good too. Let's see what we got for a final temperature. 99.4, almost 100. Great. Okay, so this one's 100. And one thing I didn't do last time was check the bottom water. Bottom water here is about 107-ish. It's actually pretty good considering the yogurt came out at around 100. So I'm going to put these in the fridge overnight, head to bed, and see you in the morning. So it's the next morning, we'll take them out of the fridge. So we have our four jars here, four, five, six, and the jar that has the three combined. Now let's see what we got. This is the inulin powder. That's a nice consistency there. That's yeah, uh, like it should. Like it's been all along. Good old reliable chicory root inulin. This one's the potato starch. I think the potato starch is a little more gummier than the inulin powder. As I'm putting the spoon in, there's a bit of resistance and a bit of uh, gel-like substance here where this is not doing that. That's all right. I'm still going to try it. And this is the coconut flour. Ooh. Yeah, as I'm starting to dig a little bit more here, it's a little bit more like it's uh, supposed to be. The consistency of the three of these is still pretty good. So let's see, what about this small guy here? This has got the three of them in it. Yeah, pretty good consistency there. All right, so now for the taste test. All right, so this is the inulin powder. Mmm, nice and creamy, as always. I'll tell you, I recently had some stuff from the store that was left over in the fridge, and that yogurt is just like, it's like dead. Literally dead. Now this stuff, this is alive. This is like little living organisms in your hand. And it's just, it's just amazing, isn't it? <laughs> mm, I love this stuff. Mm, but I digress. All right, so this is the potato starch. Mm, not my favorite. I don't know, it's making me go, mm. Mm. If it's the only thing you've ever tried with your yogurt and you haven't tried anything else, then you probably don't know a difference. It's still good, but to me it's just kind of, Kind of okay. Well, the good news is that the potato starch version isn't as bad as that psyllium husk because, ooh-wee, that psyllium husk was nasty. All right, so now this is what I've been looking forward to is the coconut flour. All right, here we go. Mmm, wow. That's got a, a really nice creaminess to it. Wow. Wow, I didn't expect that. I actually thought it was going to be kind of dry because coconut flour sucks up a lot of moisture. But that's probably a good thing in this case because, you know, how the whey sort of separates from the yogurt. And um, I think the coconut flour sucks it up a little bit. All right, now I'm going to compare that to the chicory root again. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is close. This is the coconut. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. It's like an orgasm in a bowl. Wow. Oh, there's like this creaminess to the coconut flour. All right, this is the inulin again. Yeah, you know, the inulin is really good, but ooh, wow. Mm, no ham. Yeah, I'm going to go have a date with my coconut flour yogurt. Mm. And this is the one with the three combined. So let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. Actually, that's really good. Mm, that trio is creamier. Yeah, actually works pretty well. I'm back to the inulin. Yeah, you know, I'd have to say that trio is really good. I'm going to compare this against the coconut flour. Oh, it's so good. All right, so this is back to the trio. There's a, a really nice balance between all three of them. Wow. Very good. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Me. All right, so now it's John's turn to try them. Now, this is the chicory root inulin. See how you like that? Good? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Have the potato starch. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Okay. And then we have mm. the coconut flour. Good. They're all very similar. I can't really 
how much of a difference. Well, you also think. have a cold too, so that might that might be a, a, that might be affecting it. Yeah, the consistency. I mean, this one I think seemed the thickest, and the first one seemed the a little bit thinner. But you know, this felt pretty thick. Yeah. Now, I mean, they're all pretty thick. What right? about what about the this is the potato starch and that's the coconut flour. What do you think of the consistency? Yeah, this is softer. This is a little gooier, a little softer. This seems more solid. Yeah. I, but they're so similar. I mean, I really couldn't tell much of a difference. There's something about the energy of the coconut flour that I really like. They're all very tasty. They're very good. They're all um, nicely edible. I could eat any of those. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering if any of these taste like coconut, well, we both agreed that there was no coconut flavor in any of the versions. So now we're going to do a comparison between the texture the price, and the taste. So as far as for texture and consistency, the inulin powder was the softest, the potato starch was a little thicker, and the coconut flour was right in between. So the winner in price is definitely not the inulin powder because this two pound bag at full retail on Amazon runs about $15 a pound when you buy it in a two pound bag. And the potato starch that I got at the grocery store runs a little bit under $4 a pound. And for the coconut flour that I got at Walmart in this big bag, runs just under $3 a pound. Now, as far as her taste, I definitely thought there was a difference between the three, but John seems to think that they all taste right around the same. But for me, the potato starch was my least favorite, although, you know, I would eat it if it was the only thing available, but, you know, if I had a choice, I'd go with something else. My second favorite is the inulin powder, because this has got some really nice creaminess to it. So the winner of the chicken dinner, for me, is the coconut flour, because, ooh-wee, the energy of this stuff and the yogurt is just Mm. so so good for me anyway John thought it was kind of indifferent but for me mm, so good so keep an eye out for experiment number three which is coming up soon I'm gonna be testing two more brand new prebiotic fibers along with the inulin powder I'd like to see how the Jerusalem artichoke inulin and the agave inulin compared to the chicory root inulin now that would be a really good test hmm I just have to wait for my Amazon order don't I some of the options I have on the list are did allulose banana, and I might even try coconut milk powder. Hmm, we'll see. If you have any other suggestions for prebiotic fibers you want me to try, do a comment below. I look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you.